Hello, everybody. Welcome to Live at Five. We're live. It's Tuesday, June the 7th, and we have a very special guest today, waitresses Eric Anderson. Yeah, we love Eric Anderson. We and, do love Eric. Um, we're going to get to him because, first of all, we have big news. So, so today is the day Imogen Lloyd Webber has a new book. My new Look book's out. She wrote, you know, this is what, your third or fourth third book? book. Pu yeah. Third published. I've written many unpublished this is, jokes, <laughs> but this is the so third this published. So this one's called The Intelligent Conversationalist, and I'm reading it. And I'm, I already feel smarter because now the idea of this book is what? Where'd you, let me, let's do a little book segment. Let's do a little book, little book segment. Note. Little, 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 little book note. Little book note. You, um, you wrote this. So I and wrote I, this. I, and the, my first thought when I saw it was, how did she do this while she was working here? But you I did. did. I did. I, did. I didn't sleep. I was up at 4 a.m. <laughs> crazy hours. Well, basically, it comes. I spent years before I worked at, started work at Broadway.com being on cable news. And every yeah. time I was on cable news, I'd have a little cheat sheet. Right. Um, and I was known as a generalist, so I cover politics, business, culture. Yeah. Anyway, all my friends at the time were saying, we we want cheat sheets, we want cheat sheets. So I took all the gaps in their knowledge, you know, about subjects that they thought we, you know, they said we need to know about this and wrote cheat sheets for I them. love this one. Cheat sheet number 12, basic American beginnings. Yeah. I love that you know so much about America now that well, you're now teaching people <laughs> no, so, like me. So I went, so there's, so if you're going to have dinner with a banker, you'd read the finance chapter. Oh, Middle Eastern history. Yeah. That was, that was tough. That was, wow. I, wrote, I wrote that last. Homosexuality. Um, you're really yeah. going there. Feminism there's charts, there. There's charts. charts. Uh, royals. Wow. Tony's. Are you excited? I'm, so what's it like to get I, to this to this point I'm, where you, you did it? I'm very proud. I mean, it's a, it's the okay, hardest thing I've ever back. done because, as but you said, I mean, I was working here and at the time, so to right. get that done while having a full time full on job is um, oh, was a lot. Congratulations! So, so everybody, check this book out. It's and available Paul's right thanked, now. Paul's thanked to the beginning. You can go. Oh yeah, yeah. My name's in there. No, acknowledgements. Very exciting. Um, okay, right. So Paul and I had an interesting evening last night. <laughs> Um, well, first I of all, let me tease this by saying okay. I was up very late yeah. working on a secret project that involves Imogen that you guys will know about tomorrow. Tomorrow. And that's very okay, that's so that's it. Now, I was, uh, I knew that I might have a bout of insomnia because this was coming out at midnight. Are you and, nervous? You know, I was, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm scared, okay. I'm scared. So anyway, so point being, I woke up at 2.30 in the morning, thought, great, I'm awake. This means I can get carpool karaoke with James Corden, Broadway stars up on the site. So because it's important to get these things live. And live quickly. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of traffic. And they went live like right at yeah. that point. And you guys want to know about all of this. So off I got out of bed, went downstairs, wrote a little piece. We had a little bit of thing prepared, but I redid it because of what had happened. Put it up. Who had already put a story up? We both published separate stories at the same exact time. Yeah. Because I also was <laughs> up. I didn't know she was up. And anyway. Because why would we be up at 2.30 in the morning? I and mean, I felt really bad. But it wasn't the first time we did that. No, it happened one other so time. So then... Oh, you know what it was? Wasn't it um, Dream Girls? Okay, London Dream, Dream Girls. Girls, I think. So then we were office instant messaging. And like, to, it's getting it up on Twitter and stuff. Like, Paul and I had a full-on working thing between 2 and 3 o'clock this morning. This is how we are. Yeah. Dedicated. But... She wrote a can we just talk? Can we just talk about this? Yeah. Carl Paul Karaoke. It was amazing. Oh, it's so much fun. I mean, the Lemmy Le sequence. It's really all about Lemmy. It's all Jesse about Jane Tyler Krakowski Bergson. as yeah. Eponine yeah. Yeah. and I'm the love Audra. triangle in the back seat. It's, it's really all about that. Genius. It's so good. So, if for any reason you've not seen it yet, but no, come I'm on, you're a Broadway it. fan, you, you've seen yeah, it. Yeah, keep watching just it. Keep over watching and over. It. Keep watching it. Amazing. You know what? And I think it's going to be a really good promotion for the Tonys, for like regular people, because it's blowing up. It's a viral video. It has the Tony Awards bug in the corner. Yes. And Reminding everybody it's Sunday night, yeah. 8, 7 central. Um, very exciting. But okay, us. so this is interesting. Laura Linney and Cynthia Nixon, very accomplished stage and screen yes. actresses, will alternate roles in Lillian Hellman's The Little Foxes beginning March 29th next year at MTC. So they're going to keep swapping roles. Yeah, so they'll be, they're playing them in rep. Wow. Which I think it's really intriguing. And also, the Tony, like the Tony nominating committee, what are they uh, going to do? So confusing. The rules, I mean, they're going to be all over the place. Who should who should be eligible for what part when? Did you see my tweet about the about their photos on the news story? They look amazing. The, they both look like Susan Blackwell to me, so I thought Susan Blackwell needs a role. Maybe she could be the third one. Under study. She could be Absolutely. the third one. Third anyway. One. Anyway, whatever. Okay, this, this, we already told you. If you watched Live at Five, we already told you that Ben Platt was clearly going to be reprising his role on of course, Broadway. Of course, of course he Graham is. Hansen. But there it's is one official. little twist. There is one little twist. Which is Michael Park is in for John Dossett as right. Larry. He did it originally in DC, in DC, and then John Dossett did it the second stage. So he didn't do he didn't do it on off Broadway because of Tuck Everlasting. Yeah, because he'd been involved with that for years, and now that's gone. R.I.P. Tuck. Hashtag R.I.P. Tuck. And um, so now he can so do Dear Evan Hansen. Hansen. And he's so great. He was here for Live at Five. He's such and a sweet he's, guy. He's lovely, isn't he? Yeah, he's we love awesome. Him. We're I love big, him. Big fan of him. Um, okay, so this is interesting. Newcomer Maddie Bellillo. I I will say this right oh, when I found. Oh well, there we are. Uh, we'll Maddie Bellilio. I don't know what is, she, what is she. Tracy Townsend in Hairspray Live on December. Yeah, she 7th. got it, and she got it from an open call, right? Yeah, 
And Ryan McPhee went and interviewed her today. So that interview is up on the site. So good on Ryan McPhee. Oh, the interview is really fun, too. I love that she said she didn't dress in costume because there were all these crazy girls dressed in full Tracy Turnblad drag. She was like, no, I was wearing pants. I kind of like that about her. Uh, no, I think I that's know. cool. I think we're good. I, I'm excited to meet her. Media. I'm excited have to meet videos. her. She seems lovely. I'll have some fun videos about that. Um, David Diggs is leading Odds and Ends today. Uh, he's, got, he's, he's running a musical theatre rap workshop. Very cool video. Uh, Meryl Streep dressed as Donald <laughs> Trump. That was a public that was crazy. fundraiser last That's night. That's like a great, I would love to see, I wish we did a character study of her getting into that costume. It would be amazing. Because of the makeup, the orange, yeah. the orange cheeks. I mean, it was proper. Really well done. Yes. Anyway, so that, that's, that, that's not an end today. And the tie, the red tie was very low. Very low. Right down the crotch. <laughs> and then uh, Danny Burstein's dresser, Philip Rolfe, uh, Great 19 feature. years they've, they've yeah, known each other. Long time. But that's part of our dresser uh, feature today. Uh, and also, all the best to Bryce Rhinus, who begins performances in Matilda yes. tonight as Miss Trunchbull. Congratulations. And the Tony Beat's just gone up. I've not seen it yet. Oh, yeah. So, we did another episode of the Tony Beat, our little behind the scenes. There's some fun stuff with you and Michael Riedel. Where you explain Do how, I tell him how odd up? it is that, your friend, that you're like besties yeah, and, weird, and he's a meanie. He's you're mean. besties with a meanie. Yeah. And you tell him to shut up, which we I enjoy. I do. Your dad's gone in. And okay. I had some fun with Jane Krakowski at the Outer Critics Awards. Yeah. I asked her who the Outer Critics are, because I don't know. <laughs> and uh, did she, what else? Did she know? She said, these are my people. I'm from Jersey. I, which I guess kind of explains <laughs> it all. And, I think and, I Beth, and then you went to Lupita. You I know, Lupita. It's I a lot of fun stuff at Sardis. Anyway, check it out. Check it out. Um, all right. right, I'll leave now. Okay, Please you taking your book. book with you? Yeah. Everybody, you need to buy the book. She's not, book. not giving them Amazon, out. Amazon, no. <laughs> all right. Bye. Everybody, please welcome Mr. Eric Anderson of the new smash hit, Waitress. Oh, come on, sit down, sit down. How are you? Come don't on, fall. Don't, don't stress fall apart. How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to be seen. Uh, oh, oh, get Caitlin, that. Don't hurt yourself over I there. Told him to sit down. Um, Waitress. But first of all, I just asked you, I listened to the album. The album sounds great. The album is now available yeah. for digital download, Very right? exciting, yeah. It's awesome. Uh, yeah. Do you, do you get excited? How many cast Hello. albums have you... I've only been in a few. How many? Like... Three, three -ish, probably, yeah. Three-ish. Yeah. What, what are those albums? Last Ship. Last Ship. Remember Kinky that? Kinky Boots. Wait, actually, he's wearing Last Ship pants, Damn. which is a fun fact. I complimented him on his Mr. pants. Barnes. And he said, uh, they're Last Ship pants. I, I, don't, I wish I had Last Ship pants. I enjoyed that show. I can set you up. Um, uh, you always play very manly guys. You're such a manly dude. I don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> I remember I first uh, knew about you because I knew your wife, Jessica. Jessica Rush. Jessica Rush. Um, not Jessica Anderson. Is she no, here? Jessica Rush. Okay. You know, her parents named her that because it would look good on a marquee. Yeah, okay. And uh, she story. is fabulously talented okay. and, and gorgeous. And I, you know, I met her first and I loved her. And, and then I was like, who's this dude she's with? And then, like, I, like, looked you up and you had a really weird website. Uh, very, Do you remember that? I'm very weird. It was so cool, though, because it was like, you were like a man of a thousand. What do you call yourself? You're like, Lon Chaney. Yeah. Lon yeah. Chaney. You had like, like, you look so different. Like, you have, you have that, you have that actor's ability of like transforming. It's all in the facial right? hair. Yeah, absolutely. Like, like facial hair, no hair, bald yeah. and like yeah. crazy. And right now, what's this facial hair called? This? Yeah. This is Waitress. This That's is Waitress. Cow. So do people design your facial hair? Like you know, they you... just kind of let me go. I yeah. was one of the only ones that they never said to cut my hair or shave or anything like that. I kind of just, I think they were a little, uh, a little afraid of me, to be frank. <laughs> Are people afraid of you? Is that what's happening? I don't know. I'm well, not I'll afraid take of it, you. Though. You know, I know you're not. That's why we're such pals. So, uh, okay, let's talk about waitress. You basically, mm -hmm. for... Um, Fans of 80s sitcoms, you play Mel and Alice. Yeah, I correct? mean, that's, that's the position. Isn't Waitress basically Alice? And I Mayhem, think so, yeah. Right? Alice I mean, doesn't like, live here anymore. All the three also. waitresses all sort of match up. Very, very uh, similar. Kiana Settle is Kiss My Grits. Absolutely. Flo. Absolutely. Um, and you are the chef. Yeah, I'm Mel. In the, Alice, you're Mel, actually. but what's, his, what's your what guy's real name? Cal. Cal. See, it's still one of those one-syllable, <laughs> three-letter names. So different. Yeah. <laughs> and you're uh, slinging hash. I am slinging major right? hash. And That's right. Doing I'm doing percussion the on pots and stuff. The nucleus of the kitchen. You're the new. I like that. You're the new. It's yeah. so, such an important. It's very important. important you know, I'm story. the one that makes the breakfast. And uh, but you you get sexy time too in this oh, show. Oh boy, do I ever! <laughs> How is that sexy time? You know, it's very exciting. <laughs> it's very exciting. It's a funny business that we're in. So what's it like? This, you know, Waitress gets a lot of um, press for the all-female creative team, right? Mm -hmm. But there's guys involved. Yeah, the there's too. really cool guys involved, too. Yeah, you what, know, we what, all get along really well. What kind of cool guys? Well, Chris Fitzgerald, oh, yeah, he's of course, cool. who won an award last night. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Was that he's last been night? Yeah, Wasn't it? 
Well, I don't Drama know. desk. I can't follow. I'm always a little bit slower. And he's nominated for a Tony. Race. He's nominated for a Tony. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a cool yeah, guy. Yeah, we got Drew Galing. We've got yep. Nick Cordero. Yeah, you, you got know. good guys. Yeah. You got good guys. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, what so do you but do you, does it feel like there's a lot of is there a lot of estrogen on Absolutely. the stage? Absolutely, there's yeah. a lot of estrogen. There's a lot of estrogen in the audience too. You know, I mean, yeah. this is this very empowering show, and and uh, you know, there's a lot of pride in the fact that there is a lot of estrogen. But yeah. we dig it. You know, I mean, we're we're it's a very uh, very cozy family we have there. It's very warm and pie like. <laughs> so what's it like? And you you did the show. I know you did the show in Massachusetts. I saw you do it yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Did, did, were you involved before that? I did. I did the the last workshop, or okay. I should say, the last lab before. Uh, lab. What's that between a lab and a workshop? Oh boy. Money? Is it a money thing? Yeah, yeah kind of. Yeah. I never like. I feel like, and it's all lab. Everything's scientific. Yeah. So yeah. scientific to make I think a musical. The actors would prefer a workshop, but you know, we'll also take what we can get, and I'm glad to be a part of it. And how's that uh, Sarabarella? She's, she's, a, a she's around a lot, yeah, right? Yeah, she's a unicorn. She's a, she, she is a unicorn. Everyone really loves to unicorn. say things like that yeah, about she her. Yeah, she and Mueller are two, like, hardcore unicorns. But, you know, the theater's riddled with them. With unicorns? Absolutely. <laughs> is your wife, unicorns is your wife a unicorn? I, my wife is indeed a unicorn. Yeah, she's... She's high up there in the hierarchy of unicorns. You're, you're also uh, a daddy. I'm a daddy. I, I see you on Facebook. I've got a baby um, unicorn. Father, ha, or happy early Father's Day. Well, thank you, brother. So tell me about um, tell me about that one. Well, you know, having a kid is just like having your heart run around and yeah. trusting it to other people. But, you know, she's she's exquisite. She's very smart. She's a year and name? a half. Elliot. Mm-hmm. Elliot Elizabeth. And she's, uh, you know... And she's also really developing her comedic timing, which oh really, <laughs> is how does everything. that play out? It's I mean she's raw, you know, and she's very basic with her humor, but she knows when it's funny. Uh huh. Well, I wonder how she's going to react to your different facial hair transformations. Yeah, I, I think career. she'll freak out if I have anything other than this caterpillar over my lips. She's <laughs> she's another caterpillar. Well, she, she's <laughs> you know my wife's a real good sport about that, you know. Yeah, I wonder how your wife deals with all these. Uh... I mean, she knew she was marrying a character man, so... How'd you two meet? Uh, we did a show together in L.A. Uh-huh. What was yeah. that? It was called Pilgrim. What'd you look like in that one? Uh, I had uh, this mustache that came down like this and connected to these sideburns with, like, these spiky hair things back when I had hair. <laughs> and, you know, a big collar. It was very uh, gothic. Um, I had this, like, post-apocalyptic eyepiece. You know, it was like wow. Mad Max meets Les Mis. It was a big... And she fell for that. She fell for that. The fool. <laughs> uh, and I remember you guys did a cross country road trip. That's how you we moved did. To New York. We I did. The, I remember there were fun videos of that. Yeah, yeah. You were also a soul doctor. I was. Remember that? Yeah. That was like you, you were, were the you were the soul doctor. That was epic. At the Circle in the Square. That, that was musical epic. was sort of um, otherworldly in terms of like Broadway. Like it was very different, right? Yeah, yeah. It and, was. It was a. It was one of the most you know, challenging, unconventional experiences of my life. And you did it off-Broadway, and you probably never I thought did. it was going to actually move to Broadway. I mean, I did it in Florida before off-Broadway, and then oh, wow. to finally get it on Broadway, you know, it was, it was, I mean, it was thrilling. It was, it was a huge opportunity, and, uh, you know, I learned a lot, and yeah. got to be very paternal to, uh, you know, a cast and a crew, and that yeah. was cool. And you were, you were amazing, let me just say that. Thanks. I mean, like, Thanks. You, were, you were the lead, and you were grounding the entire show. Thanks. And uh, Amber Amon was in that, too. She right? was. And she's in uh, Shuffle Along. Yes, she's right? nailing it. She's nailing it. Yeah, she also sort of transformed. She also has that. Yep. Yeah, she, yeah, she was actually in, in the last workshop of, of Waitress uh, before, oh. before we went to Boston. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then I'm sure Shuffle Along came along. And <laughs> So, She's in high demand. I mean, what can you do? High demand. Yeah, it's a good. Oh, uh, that's because you made her look good. You, no, you guys I don't together. Know about you that. guys together. It was a chemistry. I'm, I'm a beast to anybody's beauty. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> um, so, what's from. your dream role, Eric? My like, dream role. Yeah, like what if you? What if somebody... I'd like for them to make a musical of the Big Lebowski. Oh my god! <laughs> what a fun idea. Well, I'm trying to think of that. Would that actually work as a Absolutely. musical? Absolutely. Have you thought this it, it through in your head? It could be a jukebox head? musical. It could be, you know, oh, yeah. more clever than that. But well, why uh, don't you I develop? Think... Why are you giving this idea away on Live at Five? Well, you asked. <laughs> Have you thought at all about maybe developing it? No, you... no. It's just it just you're just like somebody else head, make it. Uh, that would be kind of cool. Somebody else make it, yeah, and then like, let has... me know when it's ready. I got some great ideas, probably. You do? Probably. Like, what would be like a, a necessary jukebox like, song? Like, well, what? I mean, I'd, I'd use the soundtrack they used in that okay. movie. You should check that out. If you haven't seen that movie, 
Cone Brothers, right? Yeah. Yeah, those guys. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We need more Cone Brothers musicals. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, right after David Lynch. Uh, so, Waitress is a hit. Does it feel, does it feel like you're in a hit? It I mean, does. You know, it some, does. Some shows don't run, some shows run. But this we, one, how, we, how's it we, feel like? You guys, did you like, get the million dollar mark? Like, yeah, yeah. We're, you're in the million dollar show. club, this show. Applause for a waitress. But it's been kind of, it's been selling it like 100% since we started previews. Yeah. I think that's the magic of Borellis, though. I mean, mm -hmm. her presence online alone is is uh, really innovatively fresh to what I've dealt with in the past. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's such a new beast, all this online stuff. Right. But she Snapchats backstage, and mm, I think a big part of that helps snowball her fans into really uh, being excited about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, somebody said, Craig said, I've got the Lebowski cardigan. Nice. Which is good. I've got uh, the Lebowski rug. Brooke is also into Big Lebowski, the musical. I don't know. This just seems like it's kind of... Come on, y'all. I think it's turning into a thing. Kickstarter. Uh, we just got to get uh, we got to get some like, some talented people to write it. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, I'm there's a couple to, out there. I'm going to scout some people for you. I appreciate How many hats that, do you man. have? Oh, I don't know, man. They, I, the, the question is, how many hat racks do I have? Really? Just... There's a lot. At least two or three. Racks. And each one holds like a pile of hats. Yeah. I don't know. I always like your style. It's just very, it's, you're, you're just like, you're very like, um. I wear whatever I, clothes are given to me, you know. Yeah, you're not very like New York in that sense. I can't figure out where you, you are, but you're not like, unless, because you don't come off like a hipster. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people do this look, but then they're just kind of like, it's just all a thing. But you, yeah. this is you. Yeah. This is you. This is You're the guy. Basement. I'm that guy. Like, I'm that dude, y'all. That well, I enjoy dude. It. I enjoy I enjoy having uh, dudes like you around. Somebody said Jason Brown could do it. Yeah, but we want to use maybe some some uh, some Tom Kit. Yeah, but we might want to use some jukebox songs. So if they have to be open, they have to be open to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, and this is a good one. Leon said your mustache is life. Hey, you know, it's a true investment in life. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, well, um, everyone, what's the name of that theater? The Brooks Atkinson. That's, Brooks your, Atkinson. that's your home base right now, right? That's it. The Brooks Atkinson Theater. Uh, Waitress, the musical, I'm sure you've heard of it. It's nominated for a bunch of Tony Awards. Uh, are you going to the Tonys? Are you going to be anywhere near it? Yeah, yeah, we're doing yeah. a little, little, little bit there at the Tonys. Oh, you're going to perform? You might see me for a minute. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Is yeah. it going to be sexy time on the Tonys? Oh, no, I, not, not here, brother. <laughs> <laughs> not here. That's a long day. You know it's a long day. you got to pace yourself on the Tony Awards. All right, Eric, thank you so much for coming. Uh, you guys, uh, check out Live at Five. We'll be back. Are we back tomorrow? Yes, we'll be back. <laughs> I don't know what day it is. I don't know what day it is, but we'll be yeah, back right. tomorrow. And uh, everyone, and back the next day, too. We'll be back Thursday as Boy. well. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Figured it out. Ritual. So, uh, and check out Waitress. This guy's awesome. Alice, the musical. I love it. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you.